The Enemy is Yonder, Redeeming the Time Brothers podcast, a podcast by Gene Kissinger and Norman Kissinger, two brothers who spent their lives in ministry and raising large families. Our desire is to provide a digital place for those who long to belong. And as always, we want to leave a nightlight on for you. That nightlight is of the book of Ephesians. It is the Apostle Paul talking about spiritual warfare, and here's what he says. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all to stand, stand." Uh, we need to remember who the enemy is. We are in a spiritual battle, a spiritual warfare, and the enemy's greatest tactic is to get us confused about who the enemy is so that we fight amongst ourselves. And as we fight amongst ourselves, we not only dissipate our energy so that we're not spending it against the enemy, but we literally diminish our force because we're fighting each other. It's a wicked and pernicious thing. I remember uh, Dr. Paul Chappell sent out an email this last week, one of his devotions, and it said this. It says, as part of his plans for a possible invasion of England, Napoleon had set sail the Spanish and the... Uh, the Spanish fleet and the French fleet because he had to get rid of the British Navy if he was going to accomplish uh, an invasion of England itself. Well, what was standing in his way was Admiral Nelson and the British Navy. As they began to marshal their forces and set sail on the sea, Admiral, Admiral Nelson understood that two of his commanders, who were captains of two different ships, were not speaking to each other. They were, they were angry, and they certainly, if they were not speaking to each other, they weren't going to work together, and he needed them to work together. So that he brought them, he commanded that they come to his ship, the HMS Victory, and they took them to the bridge. And when they were on the bridge, they walked to the rail and they looked over and they could see the French and the Spanish armada that was there. And he said, gentlemen, yonder is the enemy. After the two thought about it for a little bit, they made up. And not only did they work together, they worked together so well that they won that battle preserving England from being invaded by Napoleon. We need to remember that the enemy is not the person that you're married to. It's not it's not your kids, it's not your boss, it's not it's not the the even the politicians in government. They're not your enemy. Your enemy is Satan. And he's alive and well on planet Earth and he's he manipulates minds. He deceives people. And his his main goal is to try to take as as many people away from right relationship to God as he possibly can. He, he wants to attack God by getting us to attack each other, and he creates he sows discord among brethren. He creates disunity. Uh, he gets us divided against ourselves. And if you ever wonder why that stuff is so easy to have happen, it's because Satan is behind it. It's satanically empowered. Unity is a gift from God, and and we and unity doesn't mean uniformity. It doesn't mean that we're all the same. We all see everything the same. It does mean, though, that we work together to accomplish God's kingdom purposes, even though we're different. We see things differently, and that's okay. That's not a bad thing. I mean, if the whole world were Gene Kissingers, it would be an impoverished world, not a good world. And so we need that diversity of of, char of, uh, of characteristics, of strengths, of giftings, so that we can accomplish God's, even viewpoints, because some people, they prioritize different things than we do. And in the, in the working out of that, we can get a lot accomplished for God. So we need to understand that the other, we need not to be fighting other Christians. We, we need instead to be finding ways to work together. Yonder is the enemy. Dear Lord God, I thank you for this day. I thank you for these that are here, and I pray that you'd be with them as they rest tonight. Let them know you love them and care for them. Help them, God, to find strength and resource as they rest in you. You've been so good to us, God, and we thank you for it. In Jesus' name, amen. Hey, God bless you. I love you, but Jesus loves you even more. You have a great night.